exercise 8.6 the fourth sum is also a 10 mark question and in this sum what they are saying is that the rate at which the population of the city is increasing at any time is proportional to the population at that time so if I assume that A is the population of the city at any time t then I can write dA by dt that is the rate at which the population is increasing is proportional to the population that is present at that time right so we can write dA by dt is proportional to A and this you know can be written as dA by dt is equal to ka I am bringing in the equal to sign by removing the proportional sign so I have added a constant a therefore from this equation you know that a is equal to c e power k t so in the previous examples and also in exercise 8.6 for sum we have derived how a is equal to c e power k t so if you are not aware of this I will probably uh, write the derivation in the rough column here for a detailed explanation you can refer to the previous video ok so I have just uh, written the derivation over here in this rough column you can have a look but now let's get back to the sum so we know that a is equal to c e power k t and this is the formula that we are going to apply for the sum so let's get back so they say that in the year 1960 the population was a lakh and 30,000 right so let us assume at time t equal to 0 that is the first time they took the reading say at 1960 the population was a lakh and 30,000 right so now let us substitute these two values in this equation so what do you get a lakh and 30,000 is equal to c into e power k into 0 is 0 e power 0 is 1 therefore you get that c is equal to a lakh and 30,000 so you have it as it is now the next thing that you know is in the year 1990 the population was a lakh and 60,000 right so at time t equal to now 30 years have elapsed, has elapsed right between 1960 and 1990 so after 30 years when t is 30 your population is a lakh and 60,000 now let's again apply this values into this formula so it is a lakh and 60,000 equal to c e power k t you already found c is lakh of lakh and 30,000 so write it as it is into e power k you don't know but you know that t is 30 so 30 into k right so this is the formula that you have so you can cancel out these zeros here so you get 16 equal to 13 into e power 30 k so shall we bring this 13 down so it becomes e power 30 k so let's take log on both sides so it becomes log of see why am I doing all this I want to find out what k is so in order to find k we are doing this so it becomes log into e power 30 k so this becomes log of 16 by 13 is equal to log e power 30 k can be written plainly as 30 k therefore we can write k is equal to 1 by 30 I'm just taking 30 to this side ok 1 by 30 log of 16 by 30 so they have given us the value of log e uh, log of 16 by 13 to the base e right so the value of that is 0 0.2070 in the sum right this value here so let's substitute it over here therefore we get k is equal to 1 by 30 into 0 0.2070 so this is plainly divisible by 3 so 0 0.2070 divided by 30 is going to give us have you found out the answer yes it's 0 0.0069 or you approximate it to 0 0.007 so I have got my value of k 
to be equal to 0.007 okay that's my value of k right so you know the value of c you know the value of k now what are they asking in the sum they are asking us if the population is lakh and 30 in 1960 lakh and 60 in 1990 what population is anticipated in 2020 probably the print is not clear here it's actually 2020 so they want to know what is a population in the year 2020 right what is the value of a going to be right when it is 2020 you know that the value of t is going to be that is a time elapse is going to be 19 it's, we started in 1960 right so 2020 minus 1960 that is t is equal to 60 when t is equal to 60 they want you to find the value of a but you already know the formula a is equal to c e power k t just substitute the remaining in this formula so a is equal to what is the value of c it is a lakh and thirty thousand right one lakh thirty thousand into e power k is nothing but 0 0.007 into t which is 60 so which can be written as a lakh and thirty thousand into e power what is 0 0.007 into 60 it's going to be e power point zero point four two, right so have they given us the value of 0 e power point four two? yes it is they have given us here in the sum as 1.52 okay so let us take that value and substitute it here so it's going to be a lakh and thirty thousand into 1.52 so 1.52 you multiply it with 13 and you will get an answer which is approximately around which is 9 1,97,600 and that is what has been approximated to 1,97,000 you can either leave it like this or you can approximate it to this value okay so that's the answer so it's a pretty straightforward sum so you first have to find c using the value of c find the value of k using the values of c and k you find the value of a that's all